Um, okay. You should have one of those things that uh, Tiff had, his own timer. It was great. Yeah. I know. I, I kind of want to because I'm not, I lose the sense of time really easily. So. <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my background and then about um, sort of the main project that I'm involved in right now. So my name is Rina Almoneda Chang. Um, I'm half Filipino, half Chinese. Uh, I was born and grew up in Vancouver. Um, I am technically first generation, but in some ways I don't feel exactly first generation because my uh, grandfather was the first in the family to immigrate. Uh, like I guess it was probably sort of at the beginning of the of the 20th century. Um, he was working like in the sawmills in the interior of BC and like sending money home to the family and my dad immigrated when he was 11. So I feel like even though I'm technically first generation, I feel like my family has a long history here in a way. So um, I'm a dancer. Uh, Nowadays, principally a uh, dance teacher and also have been a, a choreographer and performer a great deal. Um, and I first came here uh, to study political science at McGill. And uh, when I was younger, didn't really have this uh, intention, um, idea that I was going to grow up to become a dancer and a choreographer. I wanted to be a writer, actually. And I sometimes think that if I had not come here, not come to Montreal, I don't know if I would have become an artist. I really feel I became an artist because of being in this city. Um, my style, the style, well, there's many things that influenced me in dance. But um, I can say that at the very beginning, there were three styles of dance that kind of really were at the core for me. They were, well, one of them is not technically a style of dance, but for me as a dance. One is African. One is flamenco and one is tai chi. And my thing is very much about fusion. Um, I have a lot of other influences. I feel like I'm a bit of a sponge. Um, I feel like when I'm creating, um, it's not an intellectual process. It's a more of an intuitive, uh, meditative process where I allow uh, I try to connect something with something very internal and deep and allow whatever needs to come out to come out. And I find that with all the different things that I've been exposed to, um, uh, what tends to happen is this kind of fusion. Um, so I've often said that what I do is really kind of, it's, I've always found it very difficult to sort of name what my style is because there are so many different influences. I said for a very long time that I do Afro-contemporary dance, but there's so many other influences. Um, for a long period of time, I was very, uh, it was never my intention, but I had a very strong focus in uh, African and contemporary African dance. I worked with uh, Zab Mubungu's uh, Nyata Nyata Dance Company, who was a big, who was a huge mentor for me. Um, it was really by opportunity, I think, that I became, I had an opportunity to audition for her company and that really led me to have this huge focus on African dance. I started to travel uh, to Africa. Uh, I started to work with a lot of uh, African and Afro-Caribbean music groups in Montreal. Um, but if I can say in, in my artistic heart, I would say it's really, uh, really about fusion of the, all these different influences. It's something that really, is based in something very traditional. I'm very interested in traditional art forms, but then what comes out is very contemporary and very experimental in a way. Um, something that's very much about grounding, that's about uh, a sense of timelessness, something that, anyways, that's a whole other. <laughs> when I have a performance, you can come and see that. I'm not going to describe like my dad. No, 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 like no, no. Okay. <laughs> no, one minute. So, <laughs> No, 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 because I want to talk about a project, <laughs> actually. Okay. But you can do one two minutes. No, I can dance one. Just, okay. just, no, just part of your movement. The, um, well, what I, the other thing I wanted to say, uh, there are other things that I said that I had studied political science, but I also trained in traditional Chinese massage, and I also trained in body-based psychotherapy. And these are not dance forms, but they highly inform me as an artist and how I approach working in the body. So I just want to put that out. So um, in terms of uh, sort of the big project that I'm working on, um, I didn't really get into it, but I have worked for like maybe over 15 years doing a lot of 
community art projects. Now we call them cultural mediation projects, but in the beginning nobody knew that term and we called them community art and now we call them uh, cultural mediation projects. I worked with the Centre des Femmes de Montréal. I did a Agir, a big project with women in prison. And my big project right now is called Sanctuary. It is a uh, collaboration with three other artists, um, uh, Emily Monet, Dana Danger, and Melissa Morris. Uh, so we're working with dance, theater, uh, visual art, and video, uh, working with uh, residents and outreach clients of the Native Women's Shelter of Montreal. Um, so the focus is really on the experience of the woman in and coming out of the shelter, um, but there definitely is uh, a certain kind of, because we're all coming from different backgrounds too, the artist identifies half native, there's a, a definite exchange uh, and an intercultural kind of orientation to, to the process. That's great. So, Thank you so much. Yeah. And quickly, I just want to say that on September 16th, there is a small aspect of the project that's going to pre be presented at Oboro. It's a sound photo installation. Uh, it's two of the artists uh, who are a little bit more in charge of that part of it. Um, it's on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> you can ask me more. Keep your mind. September 16th. September 16th. Oboro. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm often. Uh,